I have another question and I'm going to take, it's not really a left-hand turn. It's a, just a little tangent, <laughs> but we've been talking about balance and I know very often the word that goes along with balance is alignment because alignment is really the action of getting into balance. So let me ask you guys this as coaches yourselves, think for a minute about, two of the most contradictory things that you seem to say to your clients, that they sound contradictory. And I know I go through these moments with my clients, like, I know I'm telling you to do this and I'm telling you to do this. And you have to walk a, a tightrope between, as we've talked about, the two sides that keep you in balance. Are there any things that are not, they sound contradictory, but they're not. So- oh, yeah. You know, that they sound like they shouldn't make sense because of what I'm, I'm talking about. You know, I went, like when I say to, to clients, well, you want to be able to speak at a good measured rate of speech, but you want to have forward momentum. And, you know, at first blush, that would seem like, are you telling me to talk faster? No, no, <laughs> I'm not telling you to talk faster. I'm telling you to speak at a measured pace, but have forward momentum. So how do you develop that? Do you, do you guys have experiences like that as well? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a loaded question. <laughs> um, and I, I will say, first off, Paul, I, I, have, I have said for many, many years that, that people's apparent contradictory characteristics or, or loves or hobbies or whatever are actually what make them interesting. Like if we were all just like super only one thing, we would probably be far less interesting as human beings. So I think contradictions are inherently interesting. Mm -hmm. the, the, the one that I use a lot in my, in my coaching practice is integration and boundaries. Um, so I talk a lot about integration. I refer to my coaching as integrative coaching. I talk to my clients about bringing their whole self to work every day. But I also talk about having very clear boundaries because without them, everything spills into everything else. Very hard time deciding what you're saying yes to, what you're saying no to. Um, you can get overwhelmed. You can get burned out. And so that, that I call it a barbell. You're holding the barbell and on one hand, you've got integration and on the other hand, you have boundaries and you, and you're, like I said, balance is a verb balancing and, and you're holding this. And so what it looks like in practice is integration is knowing that your communication style to your, to your, to your, one of your specialties um, is pretty consistent the way you show up in your personal and professional life. You have a communication style. And so knowing it and working on it is going to affect all these areas, right? So that's integration. But boundary is saying, I'm turning off my phone at nine o'clock at night. And my boundary is if this is when my this is when my when my availability ends because I have to go and replenish myself. And this is where it picks up again the next day. So boundaries can be around time, they can be around space, they can be around the the things that you do or don't do with your time. And so that to me is one of the, the, the fun ones um, that I work with on a regular basis. 